God, is, is this... Is this about to happen? I don't know. Is this gonna happen? I don't know. <sighs> James, you, you said that we had time to think about this. I mean, what if this is a mistake? What if it doesn't work? What if it backfires? It won't backfire. It's going to work. We need this to work. It will work. But what if it doesn't? Yes. I approve. It's going to work. All right, let's get this show on the road. We need to have a clean sweep by 1600 hours. Jesus Christ, do you understand what's about to happen here? I'm just taking orders, sir. I can't believe the son of a bitch is gonna do it. And the craziest part is he's gonna get away with it. What exactly are your orders? I'm sorry, sir. That is classified Don't information. Don't you fucking give me that classified bullshit. I'm about to be governor. <laughs> well, governor Sam, I will say your streets are about to be a hell of a lot cleaner. Something. No, I'm not hungry. Oh, come on, you can trust me. Look, I was sent for you by our trustworthy mayor. Mayor? Yes, the mayor. And not only does he want you to have this sandwich, but he wants to make sure it puts you in a much better place. No, I'm just gonna go. I'm sorry, sir, but um, we really must insist. You see, we want to make sure that you are in a safe place, the safest place the government can provide. Now, watch this. Wow. <laughs> wow, gotta love that government cheese. Wait, am I gonna have to eat this whole thing on my own? There you go. Good, huh? Yeah. Now look, I just wanna talk to you for a few minutes about this newly funded government program that's designed for homeless people just like yourself. Mind if we take a walk? <laughs> Good. So what we're gonna do first So the big question is, where do they go from here, right? Some of those from the nearby encampment say they're skeptical of this new location. You're, you're gated in right there, so I don't, I don't know. You're kind of like caged in like you're in jail. The time has finally come. Starting this week, crews will begin clearing more homeless camps. Where did all the homeless people go? Starting this week, crews will be clearing more homeless camps. What's the deadline for people living in the woods to move out? And the deadline comes on what will be the coldest day of the season. Where do they go from here? The damn mayor got rid of them. And it got to the point where there was almost uh, 30 tents over here, about 40 people. Hey, what are you doing here? You ain't allowed in here. Come on, no photos, no video, no press allowed.
people living here rushed to collect their belongings. I know what happened to the homeless people. Nine years ago, government took them all away. We need affordable housing for everyone. People are making accusations that you shipped all the homeless out of the state. Turn off that damn camera. Now, come on. Turn it off. Turn it off. As you can see, this metal fence behind me will be the site of the new Opportunity Village that will soon come here. You're at home, it's nice and warm, but what about these homeless folks? I mean, at first I was happy about it, you know, I could walk around town without getting bothered. I didn't have a problem with them. Uh, you know, they tell me stories, I, I tell them stories. They're good old people. I don't know what it was, I tell you, I just don't. But I don't see them anymore. Starting this week, crews will be clearing out more homeless camps. I'm very concerned about homeless encampments. A big part of the camp has broken down RVs, trucks, SUVs, and tents. The Department of Transportation will be assessing this camp either today or tomorrow. Yeah, I told you, man, it's closed. Only the city of Reno is allowed in here. Now I got to ask you to leave. Rise and shine, beautiful. It's time to get the day started. Get that camera out of my face now. I told you you have to pace yourself. How are we ever going to take a cruise anywhere with all-inclusive drinks? I can't do this. My head is throbbing. My stomach is turning. I'm hot and I'm cold. I get on the road early so I can get a few shots before the sun goes down. God, please don't say shots. <laughs> you know what I mean. Just go without me. Come on, seriously? You know I have a deadline to get this thing shot, edited, and submitted. Casey, I swear to God, if I move, I'm going to throw up everywhere. Okay, well, let's go get some Excedrin. And that would require me to walk. <laughs> I got something that'll make you feel better almost immediately. What the fuck are you doing? It's 2 p.m. on the East Coast. There's no way I'm not drinking that. No. Feeling better, right? All you need is some food and more alcohol. Keyword, food. Can a bitch get something to eat? Can you hold it for a little while longer? We're so close. Oh my god. Come on, seriously. I don't want to be on these roads too late. The sun goes down at four. I appreciate you doing this with me. Uh-huh. Seriously, Taylor, it means a lot that you're doing this with me. Drunken story time, go! You're fucking insane. Come on, it's your turn. I don't want to play any card games. Entertain me, tell you what. Let's finish this game and we'll stop at the next place to eat. Swear to God. All right, going to Las Vegas with this crazy bitch. I got married. Got drunk. Ended up at some weird motel all to do a documentary in a small town about Cross 2 Ghost. Original. I love it. Mm -hmm. And by the way, her name was Julia Bulet, okay? What's the obsession anyway? Her story doesn't get much respect, but the stories do say, though her ghost walks around at night. Great, maybe we can get her blowing a tourist. Now that's a documentary. The ghost of BJ's. <laughs> Whatever. Food! Exit 119! Who's the first person you truly fell for? Can we play these games after we eat? Reviews say it's the best pizza in town. How many people are even in this town? Holy shit, it was featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Get a picture. What? Seriously, take a photo. I'll send it to you when we get better signal. I lost service miles back. How are you even getting service? Gotta love free Wi-Fi. This place has Wi-Fi? Yeah. Welcome to 
the poppers, ladies. Have a seat wherever you like. Gray will be with you in just a minute to get your order. Four for four couldn't cut it, huh? So I read that their stuffed crust pizza is to die for. It's got cheese, pepperoni, more cheese. Mm. Mm. So when the GPS was working, it said we were about 30 to 40 minutes away, which is good on timing. That means we still have time to get a small room, unpack, and set up a few interviews with the locals about Julia Bulet. Hey, are you guys ready to order? Yes, two Jack and Cokes. Uh, and the stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. Is that all? If you're buying, we'll take four Jack and Cokes. I mean, only if I can join you. Did I hear you guys talking about Julia Bellet? Oh, God. Yeah, have you heard of her? Yeah, me and my friends go out to her grave all the time at night. Oh, no. Tell me more, I'm doing a documentary on her. After she puts the order in. You two are my last customers. How about I take you up on that Jack and Coke? And we can all talk in the back. What about the ghost story? Eh, that's for the internet. We all know who really moves around out there at night. Great, you need him back in the kitchen. Let's talk in 30 minutes. Homeless people. <laughs> now that's your real documentary. Happened right in this town, 1983. How? No way, why was it never reported? Hey Cheryl, can I get a couple more Jack and Cokes out here? I mean, it happened 35 years ago. No social media, no smartphones, no nothing. And over the years, it became a myth. So why wouldn't they just come back? They made a way. We don't go over there, they don't come over here. <laughs> Segregation for the homeless? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you won't see a couple running around. Actually, about a month ago, my neighbor's house got broken into. All the food, clothes, gone. But computers, laptops, still there. Rumor has it their resources are getting low out there. <laughs> getting low? Getting low from what? Are you kidding me? Getting low from dirt and water? No. The government left them with enough supplies to start a new life out there. So, uh, where are you guys staying? Well... We weren't supposed to be here this long. Head up to Old Town, hopefully find a room. If not, sleep in the car. Actually, I have a friend who camps out there all the time. How about I make a call and you guys camp out and get the full experience? I, I'm sorry, camp. Like, sleep outside on dirt. I mean, he has extra bags. Bags? <laughs> Taylor, can I talk to you for a minute? We'll be right back, just need to talk things over. There's no way. We don't know her. We don't know anybody. That's the whole point of this thing. Meeting people, documenting it. And what about this whole homeless story? What if it's real? What, Shit. you're a fucking humanitarian now? I'm pretty good at reading people. And besides, Gray seemed pretty genuine. It's not like we met her on the street or at some random bar. Okay, she does work in this random bar. I don't know, Casey. This is a little more reckless than our usual. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm gonna go get help. Oh my god! trouble around my store. Did I just hear gunshots? Sir, I'm sorry. My boyfriend and I got into an, an argument. I jumped out of the car and, and, and those guys came, just came from out Trey, of nowhere. it's time for you to take your friends and get on home. Now! What happened? What? Jesus Christ, are you all good? I think we just witnessed your homeless gang. What city is this? Who the fuck are you? Rena, can I use someone's cell phone? 
I've been walking for at least two hours and this is the first place I've seen. Uh, well, there's a small issue. There's no cell service. I mean, you can try, but they're probably not gonna have service. Where are you coming from? I think it's called Old Town. I'm not sure. Does that sound right? I was so angry when I got out of the car. Can't believe that bitch left me. Bitch? Yeah, my boyfriend. He's a bitch. But I need his bitch ass to give me a ride back home. He has my wallet, phone, everything. Well, we could give you a ride to Old Town. Maybe he came back for you. What is going on? Is this a barnyard band? No, we're not going with Gray and her friends and sleeping on the ground. No, we're not taking... Rena? Yeah, Rena. We're not taking Rena back to Old Town. We are going home. There are 10,000 homeless people in Baltimore. We can do a documentary on one of them. Are we clear on this? It wasn't even that serious. That was crazy. We went way off track. A camp trail, homeless fighters, random bartenders. I'm not a bartender, I'm a waitress. I don't have a bartending license. How do you even know him? <laughs> we went to school together. Uh, people thought he was different. Different? Weirdo. You know, like, eclectic. Into Ouija boards, candles, crystals, ghost shit. <laughs> ghost shit, I love it. Yeah, when we were in school, he used to tell me about this girl from LA. He had a real relationship with her in his dream. <laughs> How much further? Uh, not that far. Probably like 30 minutes. Look who it is, soldier girl. Never thought I'd see the day. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> well, when these lovely ladies said they wanted to see Old Town. Hey, I'm Taylor. This is Casey. Hi, I'm Casey. Sorry, I missed your name. Colin. Wait, wait. Raina? And you are? <laughs> uh, sorry, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think you have a boyfriend that, like, drives around and he has a picture of you and it's showing everyone. And he's asking if they've seen you. A, uh, a doctor, uh, Rena Carter. You're a doctor? You don't look like a doctor. Well, how's a doctor supposed to look? I don't walk around in a lab coat. You work in a lab? Like a scientist? <laughs> Where is he now? Who? The guy that was looking for me. Oh, uh, right, sorry. Um, I hear he's been circling back every couple hours. The last I heard of him, he said he was gonna go check the hills. Is there a phone? <laughs> Out here? <laughs> Forget it. I know we're all trying to get things figured out, but with the sun and all, maybe we should get things situated and then figure out what's what? I'll stay here. Uh, I don't think that's the best idea. <laughs> well, what if he comes back? Put a note on the car. Colin is right. You being alone in this town might not be the best decision. Yeah, trust me, you're gonna want to stick with someone. Uh, I'll tell you what. How about we all go up to the spot, get situated, and then I'll walk back down here with you to check on things. I don't know any of you. Yeah, if we leave you here, then you really won't know any of us, and you won't know anyone else here. The energy here is fucking insane. I'm loving it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hold this one. How much fucking further? But when you woke up this morning, didn't think we'd be on a nature hike, did you? Never again in your lifetime will you ever say that I didn't do anything for you. 
Hey, seriously, how much further is this place? I don't want to stray too far. Well, sir, onward. Good over here? This was a horrible idea. How many idiots does it take to build a fire? I'm guessing two. Listen, your boyfriend's not just gonna leave you out here. Colin said he would walk you back down. It'll be pitch black. I don't know what to do. What if we get lost? What if we get attacked by wolves or something? I can assure you there aren't any wolves. I know, but I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I should have just stayed. Hey, there's drinks, there's sandwiches, more drinks. You're safe as long as you want to hang. Okay, maybe wait till morning. He's not just gonna leave you out here, okay? So for now, let's just enjoy the night. Last time I did something like this was senior year in high school. Come on, sit with me. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I heard you guys had an encounter with the homeless people from the big experiment. The big experiment? You know, Section T? Come on, you didn't tell them? I mean, not in specific details. <laughs> Are we missing something? January 18th, 1985. The government rounded up all the homeless people and offered them food and shelter. So, they put them all on a bus, drive them out deep into the hills. Now, when they got there, armed guards then forced the homeless off the bus into the hills, shooting anyone who tried to get back on. Some say they migrated to other towns and bigger cities. Other people say they died from lack of food, water, shelter. But what really happened is that they became cannibals, eating each other to live, and over the years, <laughs> became scavengers. Ah. <laughs> people eating each other, scavengers. What's next, zombies? Is your friend gonna come out and scare us? You guys witnessed it for yourself, didn't you? I mean, what do you think that was earlier today? Oh, and that reminds me. Thank you so much for allowing us to stay here. And please accept our offering of a beer. <laughs> and bread. <laughs> Uh, I love him. So, in case of an emergency, how do we get back down to the car? An emergency? We have a green beret right there. And secondly, I know these hills like I know my soul. What does that even mean? I don't know. Now, as promised, I got the goodies. <laughs> Communion time. <laughs>
You're right. Not playing the game. Wait. Did you hear that? No. I could go. What? What's going on? Are you okay? Last night, I heard Desi call for me. Desi, what are you talking about? Where's Taylor? Where are the people we were with last night? He came back for me. I killed him. It's my fault. I heard him scream. Whose blood is this? And where are the people we were with last night? He was looking for me. He came back. He came back. God, I'm never drinking again. <sighs> Where the fuck are we? 
No, where the fuck am I? Too many potions, spirits, and brownies. Yeah. Oh. No shit. Oh. Where is everyone? They probably left. You know how many times I've woken up and the ladies just aren't there? Like, they're witches, bro. No, seriously. Oh. Where is everyone? Oh, well. Uh, well. What the hell are you doing? East, my friend. We are East. This is such a bad look. We promised them that we would... Oh, get them hey, out. relax, okay? They probably just went back to the car. How far are we? Well, I hope you're ready to walk. I can't believe we made it this far. Uh, how far out? Relax, okay? We're gonna hitch a ride. We're gonna hitch a ride back to Old Town. I thought we were in Old Town. What the hell did you give us last night? You were there. Some beer, wine, infused brownies with some mushroom nuts. Mushrooms? You gave everyone shrooms? Everyone needed to loosen up a little. <laughs> when we get out of here, I'm going to fucking kill you. Not the hills don't kill us first. Oh, not now. We have to keep moving. There's no telling how deep we are in these mountains. I never should have gotten out of that car. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna say it. He's an asshole for even putting you out of the car in the first place. Excuse me, but you don't know what happened, so please don't talk about that. All I'm saying is... No, you don't need to say anything about him. Look, I'm not gonna stand here and fuss back and forth with you over a creepy bloody shirt that probably isn't even his. I'm not holding you here. Forget this. And you know what the funny thing is? We're the ones that saved your ass. This is my day off. I'm spending it walking down this road, hungry, thirsty, hungover. Where would you rather be? I don't know. Santa Monica? Laguna? I mean, I'd even take a cabin in Lake Tahoe. Anything but this bullshit. Wait, wait, wait. You see? You speak and the universe listens. See? You gotta stay connected. No way. <laughs> oh my god! No way! Maybe they had to go take a piss or something. Out here? In the middle of nowhere? Well, they had to go make an offering. What? Hunting.
Oh, jackpot. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is going to bring us some bad vibes, bad karma. Relax. We're taking it. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> this is definitely a vibe. A going to jail vibe, but still a vibe. Relax. We're not stealing, we're just borrowing. We're just gonna take this to a local shop, get some help, and then we're gonna bring it right... <laughs> <sighs> Shit, stupid coyotes. I don't think that was a coyote. I think that was a person. A person? No way. No. There's a kid doing out here in the middle of the road, in the middle of nowhere. We gotta get the kid in the car. No, I don't, I don't think we should move. I'm like, I hear that can make things worse. What do you want me to do? You're in the road like a fucking animal? I'm still breathing. I think we should get in the truck. We gotta help the kid in the car. No, we need to go now. <laughs> There's their people in the woods. Come on! <laughs> Find me before it gets dark. At least there's water left. Oh, thank God, fresh clean. Find me before it gets dark. You guys offerings last night. Do you guys want money? Qu quarters? I, just take it. Just, uh, just fucking take it. Right. Bad car.
Um, hi. Hi, little girl. Where are your parents? Yo, it's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you hungry? Where are your parents? Yeah, are you hungry? See, I'm not so bad. <laughs> Slow down, you're gonna choke. Here, here's some water. Where are your parents? Whoa, there's two of you. Girl Scouts? Boy Scouts? Do you guys want to listen to music? Field trip? Do you guys like music? Want to listen to some music? Hello? 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 Desi? What is happening? I don't know. We have to go now. I saw those kids. Yes. Yes. What is going on? Was that guy right? Are we in the middle of a compound or something? I don't know. You have service? No, I'm documenting. Oh my fucking God right now. If something happens to us, who will know what really happened? This is day two. I believe Taylor and I were set up, drugged, and separated. I just found Taylor being attacked from what looked to be 20 or more children. If you find this video, please know there's something going on here and it's foul. Do you know where the car is? No, but it has to be on a main road. Okay.
Doc? Yeah. What's going on in here? My fiance. Let's see. Kill them. No. Why is this happening? We gotta get out of here. It's so many of them. We have to try. We can't just sit here and fucking die in here. There's no point. We're dead. Why would you say that? You were right. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you at the fire. They're killing people and taking their belongings to survive. This is a bad trip. Just no, no, no. no. Listen to me. Everyone else besides us are dead. And so are we. This can't be happening. What are you doing? We can't just sit in here and do nothing, okay? We have to fight back. Okay, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go west, through the woods, to the main road. And we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run and run like our lives fucking depend on it. But how are we going to- Shh. You're coming. What? Remember, south, run, okay? Maybe we can try to Hold. talk to- No! Ready? Run! Give you guys beer. I swear to God, first thing I do when I get home, I'm gonna order like 20, no, 50 tacos, bottle of bourbon, and probably a male escort. You don't even drink bourbon or deal with escorts. I do today. You know, like the ones on Instagram where they actually sit down alongside you. More oil, more oil, more fucking oil. Hey, snap out of it. Geez, sorry for living a little in the middle of fucking nowhere. Taylor, what did Colin have on? I don't know, like jeans and a black leather vest? Why? <laughs> hey, Colin! 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 Hey, are you high? Colin!
gonna be okay. <laughs> Ready whenever you are. I know you're exhausted, but you can't keep stopping. Fuck it. I was saving this for the car. I keep saying this.
I thought you were gray. God. What we have to do now is get back home. We have to get Casey. No! No. What we have to do now is survive. Casey is still alive. Listen to me. I saw a boat. We wait for it to get dark. We go out to the boat and we get the hell out of here. But Casey is still alive. Listen! If you go out there right now, it's suicide. We wait for it to get dark. Then we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, now. Let's be still. Them things are fast. Deadly. They kill you just soon as look at you. Now you just hold still. I'll take care of this. Colin. What? Look. So? Come on, let's get Colin, who did the fire? That could be our people. Or it could be more homeless. We have to go that way anyway. Or we can go around. Taylor, don't. Taylor! Taylor! Come. I can't stop, I know I'm behind us. I need a fucking break. Damn! 
That's where you're rolling? Taylor! Come on. Wait, wait, wait. That's our truck. Why is our truck over there? You don't think all these cars... Belong to people like us? I've seen this in a movie before. Mountain people trap you on the side of the road and then they take your car. Yeah. I don't think this is it. This is... Oh, shit! Here, hold it. Stay back! Here. Only shoot a week in it. Damn! Already? I'm fucking nervous, okay? Get back! Get back! Get back! supposed to be here. I know. I... We're not gonna make it. Thank you. Seriously, thank you for everything. this raid? I did. You? Do you know that your supervisors know that we have the authority here? Obviously you don't. We have two local citizens dead, tourists missing, and a dead pizza shop owner. And I really liked his pizza. Well now, I sure am sorry to hear about your pizza issue. See, but the thing is, when these situations have come up in the past, we've always handled it without a hiccup. Yeah. And the new people showed up. Yeah. yeah. Well, now there's a problem. We have people missing, and there's still one more out there. We are taking over. You are not taking over. You don't have the authority. Because of your screw up, Mayor? I do now. There's a compound about 100 miles from here. This isn't containment, this is spreading. You have failed. the 
Ooh. Mm-hmm.